Back in Tom's River, New Jersey at Nomad RVs, Steve is going to give us a tour of his newest van creation called the Castaway. So join us for the tour. Hey Patrick, appreciate you coming out to check this van before we list it for sale. We just finished it. This is a Sprinter 170. This happens to be on the brand new all-wheel drive chassis. This could be put onto any 170 chassis. It is called the Castaway. Great layout and we'd love to show you. As we go in, we got entry steps. There's a driver's side that's got his entry step too. And we're going to be doing bug screens for the sliding door and of course the back doors too. Standard on this model. As far as Mercedes, always best in class features. We're always going to order the vans if we're doing it for sale with the 10 and a quarter screen, the 360 cameras, navigation, so on and so forth. If available, the factory swivels, sometimes things are a little hard to get still with COVID. But we're always going to get as many options as we can. Up above here, you have the Van Wife Components headliner shelf. For now, we just threw in a bunch of our um, insulated blackout shades for all the windows that come standard on this. This has the optional curtain rod, so you can put a curtain there if you so want to. It's going to come with the Dometic CRX 110. We're always doing the stainless, not the silver. We're doing a lot of more options on this one, a lot more upgrades. It's going to come with the Victron, the Servo GX with GX touch screen. This is how you're going to control everything. Turn the inverter on, see your um, gray and fresh tank, all everything that's going on. You can see everything happening on that screen. Always there's going to be dimmable lights on the main area, dimmable lights in the shower if we want to set the mood, whether you're with somebody or by yourself. You're gonna have a contour microwave. That way you can take stuff out of the fridge. You got the prep area, and then right above to the, the microwave there. The shower is gonna be standard 24 by 36 inch. We're gonna have different tile options color-wise. It's always gonna come standard with a composting cutty toilet. We love this toilet, it's awesome. If you don't want that, we can change it to other options. Now to the shower, it's gonna be standard. Love this because it's self-scrubbing. Again, options. You can go with, we did stainless in this whole van, you'll see here to match everything going on. We can do other different colors like gold or black. Once you go behind the shower, you're gonna see split benches for a dinette. They're 30 inches wide, they're 24 inches deep, they're awesome, three inch memory foam inside them. Will be extra storage on both sides. Also, optionally, we can make this be able to convert into a third person sleeping. This actually, this van is set up for two people. It can be set up to seats for, sleeps for too, with the bed here and then an optional bed across the front seats. On that back side there, also there is your um, 12 volt. Got USBs. You got a cigarette lighter if you don't have USB. You got USB C and stuff like that. S par S2 D2 heater. We'll show you that in the back, but that's controlled on the wall here where I'm blocking. On this van, we have it on the main wall, so we're going to shoot it forward, and we're going to shoot it in the garage area for heated garage and heated bed. Always lagoon mount table, super adjustable, super easy to use. Above, we got a ton of roof locker storage. Three down the passenger side, one over the bench here. On the driver's side, you're going to have night lights. Those night lights also have um, USBs for additional charging because you can never have enough. Always an RTX 2000 from Dometic. That's a 12 volt air conditioner. That can be positioned where we have it there. Or we can move it one spot up if you want it a little bit more centered, not necessarily over your bed. We chose it for this time, just for super height climates. That way you have the air conditioner a little closer to you. That is a queen bed. It's an RV queen, so it's 77 wide, and you got this um, 77 long rather, and 60 inches wide. Moving around to the passenger side. If you got more, USBs, GFI, more ways to do everything, more outlets. We have our standard three switch, it was a water pump, uh, water heater, and then your dump valve for the gray. The gray underneath here is 20 gallons for your shower. And then we didn't set them up together. We can do optional undermount tank for the sink. We chose this style on this one just to have a five gallon underneath. It's gonna come with the induction cooktop, single burner. You got yourself a little sponge storage here, stainless sink, with cutting board, drying rack, everything's included, awesome stuff. You got yourself a bunch of drawers here, all built out of birch. You got a little deeper one down here. And then instead of doing a toe kick drawer, you left this to be able to come out. And you got yourself a little hidden storage down underneath there. You got vinyl flooring in this van. That is 100% waterproof. 
There's insulation underneath it too. As far as insulation is concerned, we're always using thin insulate. So you have double layers in the walls, single layer in the ceiling. This has the upgraded cedar ceiling, which we can do, um, you know, painted or shiplap or different options there. You have your max air fan. I know we mentioned it before. We have blackout shades. This has one too. Um, just magnets up, super easy to use. You have your flip up countertop extension. We're always adding our own AM auto windows. That way we can slide them open. You saw the extension for the bed. That's for the pods here. This is our backland expedition gear. They're from Canada. They're insulated. We always get them indie lined. Super, super strong. There's no flex to these things. You can do an optional window in them if so wanted. Flatline Vanco roof rack. You can do an optional awning. Standard's gonna come with 525 watts of solar um, up there and there's still room for a star length. There's still room for additional uh, storage if you wanted to with the waterproof like rain bags and stuff like that. Being that it's all wheel drive, we opted to do a tire carrier. That's also from Flatline Vanco. And then you got your garage space. So we're always gonna do an outdoor shower. Super easy to use. The port's right over here. This is access for shutoff valves and everything. It's also a way to change your hot water heater temperature, a way to bypass the hot water heater and all that. On the 170, you're going to have storage. It also has the three-way port there. That's going to be a way to winterize everything if need be, or just tons of storage. There's the heater we mentioned. Again, we talked about heating the garage and the front area. So you have, don't have a cold garage and cold climbs so you're going skiing. Plus, with a slatted bed, you don't want a cold bed. Then, of course, on your driver's side, you have all your electrical. This has 600 amp hours lithium. The 12, uh, 12 3000 watt inverter from Victron, 60 amp DC to DC charger, your 50 amp uh, solar controller, and all that fun stuff in there. Fully ready. Like I said, we talked about the screen. You can see everything. That screen up there also shows a fresh and gray water. But while you're filling up, you can see everything here too. You got your percentages, you even got your battery percentage. These are the lights for inside the boxes, ventilation, and then this is the gray water heater pad. So if you want to go out, you know, skiing, you don't want anything to freeze. This is your back bug screen from Van Essential. That can fold down to be blacked out, even though it's going to come with the blackout curtains um, and insulated for the windows. The additional way to blackout light, bug screen, and this is rolled up so you have access, but this can come down, you can zip everything down, you can <clears throat> open it up in the middle and all that fun stuff. This is going to have a 30 amp short power hookup, but you don't need 30 amp, you can use 15 or 20. We just like this because it's easier to screw it on, it's a lot more secure. And then you'll see the exhaust for your um, S par S2 D2 heater. Optionally over here too, we could do city water if somebody wanted. And we could also do a solar port if someone wanted additional solar if they wanted to park in the shade and then put the solar out in the sun. And then just around just to get up to the rack, clean everything easy, or for storage, we got you a ladder. So this is again the castaway model. Some of the stuff was standard, some of it was optional, it's mostly all the standards in here. And you know, we're heavily optioning this out. This van again will be for sale, It'll be listed soon when this video comes out. And um, that's pretty much it on this one. Steve, thank you very much for taking the time to show us your newest creation. I'll make sure I put a link to your social media and your website and pricing for this van. This van's gonna start at 152. Awesome. I'll make sure I get that on there. Thanks for uh, joining us today, guys. Appreciate it, Patrick.